We have our engineering team in the UK that can offer everything from the drawing that's offered by the customer all the way through to the machine being in production. Welcome to MTD CNC. Now, I've got no idea how the machine engine block. I never have, but this man definitely has, okay? This is John from Hello. Now, John, in front of us we've got a raw casting, a raw aluminium casting for, I guess, a petrol engine block. Now, what are the main features on this that you want to focus on when you're, ma when you're machining it? So currently we're looking at the raw casting uh, straight from the foundry. Uh, the biggest challenge we see at this stage um, is that we're having to locate onto the cast datums. Um, so the technology Which I within guess these little these little bits here. Yeah, as you see in the back, you've got generally we, we locate on three seats and then have a, a fourth locating seat, so you don't generate any twist into the part. It's a That's, really complex fixture. It it is. Um, a lot of the, the the sequencing from the fixture is actually built into the fixture itself. Um, That's to not eliminate that twisting you were talking about. Correct. Yes. Correct. So how do you eliminate that? Um, one experience. Uh, two through the design. Um, you want to make sure that you're clamping down where you're supporting. You correct. Don't clamp yeah, down correct. In Alignment places. of the clamping point and the, and the seat are, are absolutely critical, because at this stage, if we're introducing even point one of an error on the flatness across the whole of that face, then where we see further down line, that's going to become an issue. So, what are the tolerances? What are the major tolerances you see on this part? So, at this stage, generally, we're looking at uh, between point one and point two between the machine features that we would produce on the, the machining op here. Um, back to the casting. Yeah, I find it amazing to try and get my head around coming from casting, which is quite a, a rough, open-ended tolerance type part, yes. into what is going to be a really precise engine block. Luckily, we have the machine technology. Exactly. And then behind that, we have the, the engineering uh, team, design the fixtures, the process, work with the tooling guys to come up with the, the process that so, gives the required uh, tolerances. On, exactly. On so if you're worried about trying to make an engine block, maybe it's the first, thing, first one you've made, Get in touch with Heller because you guys offer fixture design, which yes. obviously comes with all of that experience. All in the UK. We have in. our engineering team in the UK that can offer everything from the drawing that's offered by the customer all the way through to the machine being in production. Brilliant. So we've also got another Heller down here. Let's have a quick look. Now, this has successfully machined one of the engine blocks, which I guess because it's automotive, they will be doing day in, day out. It's quite a high volume process. It is, yes. And we have a look here. So we've uh i think we've bored the back of the crankshaft we faced a couple of sides uh here hit a few faces but one of the major key features here is the two cylinder heads yes so the cylinder heads aren't actually on here at the moment but you've got the actual mounting faces for the cylinder heads so that's what i meant I, yeah. i've obviously i've not got much experience no, no, in automotive. That's, that's fine uh, and you'll have the actually mounting face for the for the bed plate and sump on the on the back the, crit, the critical area here is this back face um, which was been pre-machined on off which further saw, upstream yeah, yeah. Um, and then we start to come back to the uh, fire faces on the on the block itself. Now I've heard that there's actually quite a lot of specific requirements with just this single mating face here for the for the head gasket seal because there's quite high pressures in this engine. Yes, there is. There's, very, there's a lot of critical uh, requirements onto the surface finish. You actually don't require a, a, a brilliant surface finish on these faces. You want it rougher. You actually oh, rougher, okay. but so you don't want a mirror finish. But there's a, no, the, no, not at all. This is almost too good. It, it, it is, <laughs> but this is this at the moment is not the finished article. So this will further actually down, get roughed up further down the line. Correct, yes. See, and the I specifications on the drawing that tell us exactly what we need to achieve on these faces. Right, okay, I guess these balls, the cylinder balls have been rough bored right now. Correct, yes. What happens to them after they get rough bored? So they go through a finishing process. Again, the alignment of these balls is critical back to the, the, the mounting face What's at the, the back. What's the tolerance on that? Um, on this particular part, 50 microns. Which is it's quite tight for a casting, for a cast part. It, it is. Um, we do see bigger challenges than that sometimes, uh, but we also have to apply the capability, the SPC run that we would do, um, where you then half the, the tolerances on all the critical features that you would see on this particular part, and we have to do that over a continued run um, for customer uh, acceptance. So you've got a lot of experience doing that, being a, uh, predominantly you were a project manager for a very I did. long time. I, I started life as a project manager. And you worked on a, an engine block like this for, for Autocraft, for Autocraft right now. Correct, yeah. You spent, I don't know, a long time 10, doing 15, this 30 10, day. 10, 15 years exactly. uh, of project management and then into the, into the sales and service Fantastic. side. So if you're interested in trying to make an engine block, maybe you don't quite have the experience in-house, maybe you just start looking at Hello, who can obviously provide fixturing, tooling, and 15 years of engineering project management experience in making a part exactly like this. If you want to make an engineering block, maybe you should be going to Hello.